Hi, I'm Cody Stewart representing Corey Uchinati under Hanchi Patrick McCarthy. In this KU Quick Tip, I'd like to look at a few reception or blocking techniques in two phases, an interception and a redirection, or the path to contact and the path after contact. We want to take the shortest path to contact, but I often see our blocking movements follow these large, awkward paths. Let's see if we can't refine that a little bit. The interception happens as a single movement involving both arms. One, an open hand check, and the other bringing the forearm into contact as a bridge. As a beginner practice, we do break this into two movements. Let's start with Agayuke. So I have an open hand check, I bring the forearm into contact directly from below up the center while the checking hand is still there, then continue to push out and up through the forearm. So any variant that does not come directly to contact is to be avoided. So I don't want to come across first and then flare the elbow back into it. I obviously can't come around on an arc this way because I'm going to miss that punch altogether. I don't even want to come across low and then lift it straight up. As soon as it clears my hip, I'm coming straight towards the arm until I make contact, then push through. Now for Gidan Barai, again we have a check and I'm going to bring my forearm directly to contact and then sweep. I will see students reach way over the top, not in contact, and then sweep by. I will also see reaching way up here across and chopping into it. Both of these are much bigger movements than they need to be. Go directly to contact and sweep through. Similar to the high block occasionally coming around, sometimes I see students check and bring this low across and up and sweep down. So they'll be scooping this, they're going to end up underneath if they have a partner. Same thing for Uchiuke, I have my check, hand comes directly into contact, sweep it around. Two ways this usually goes wrong, is the hand will start out moving downwards and then come up into contact, or will reach way across and make contact on the way back. For the Soto Uke, we're going to consider an armbar context where I already have a wrist seize. This forearm, still like the others, will come directly into contact, and then I'll roll it into the armbar. I often see the wind up way back here behind the head, elbow lifted, shoulder lifted, ribs extended, all bad defensively. Even if you're planning on impacting that elbow rather than merging with it and drawing in, there's no reason to wind up way back here for the same reason we don't wind up a punch from back here. Keep it in front, use your body if you need to, directly to contact, roll it into the arm. We bring the check and the bridge to contact at the interception point in the center. So for high, again it is check, come directly up to contact, push through. Low, we have check, forearm comes directly into contact, sweep it across. Middle, check, forearm directly into contact, ride it around. Soto, seize, come directly into contact, Draw it across. To be clear, this is not about making the movements smaller. This is about minimizing extraneous movement that serves no purpose. For example, with the Gadan Barai, if I'm doing this against a hand this high, I have to get my arm up to this height before I sweep. If it happens to be low, my hand being up here serves no purpose. I come to this point directly in contact and sweep. Consider carefully where your hands have started, where they're going, and what you need to accomplish. And follow a path that does just that and no more. If you enjoyed this video, please click here to subscribe. and Check out my page for others like it. I'm Cody Stewart. Thanks for watching this KU Quick Tip.